Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make knotted assist hooks such as these, but double. All right, double versions of this. So we made these yesterday. Actually, these two. Then I'm going to show you how to do them with uh, eyed hooks and spade heads. So this is the uh, VMC 7269. This is the JF25 from owner. But you could do this with any eyed hook or spade head. So we'll do the eyed hooks first and then we'll do the spade head later. We'll measure using this. And remember, this is the back hook. And what I usually do is buy, uh, I have a supply of these. This is a VMC 7269AH. And this size is actually perfect for this jig, like that. And then we'll measure up for the back hook. Back hook doesn't need a fluorocarbon insert. And this particular one, actually, uh, this particular one has a fluorocarbon insert. So you can buy these uh, ready-made. That's, you know, the easy bit. But to adjust for the length of the jig, you could do the back hooks because they're usually longer than the front. Okay, so we'll measure against this. We will use the same... Um, the same assist cord we used yesterday and this is from AliExpress okay so I do about one and a half of the length just so I have enough for my tag ends and for tightening okay right there when you're binding you're not using up a lot for the knots so it's easier to make the length short. But for this one, since you're using up a lot, you need a longer piece. For the spade versions, we're using, again, same thing, AliExpress cord. I already have it here. We're going to use this for the long one. So let's go ahead and do that. Before that, because these things have a tendency to unravel, I usually... Just burn it off like so, and it's easier to work with them like so, okay? By the way, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. This channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing. We cover everything from big game, ultralight, everything in the middle, including fly fishing. Today, I'm showing you how to make knotted assist hooks. But these are double knotted assist hooks, okay? So... Uh, you always start with a bit of a tag and pull tool for a list of tools that you need for this. You'll see them, you'll see them while I use them, but there's actually a video on, well, the other video actually talks about this. It's just a, this is just a piece of nylon knotted, looped, and then placed it on a split ring so that it's just easy to hold. Okay, now, here we go, and then I put this here, like so, and we'll do three, three wraps, one, two, three, like so, and these are very loose wraps. Take the tag and then pull it through.
play, pay close attention to your tag end right here. Okay. You don't want to lose that because at times you're thinking that your other end is your tag. Okay. So pass that through there. Like so. Okay. You could do a pre pre preliminary tightening of that. Before you attach your other hook, you actually have to pass the eye for this, okay? Like so, okay? And that as it is, is already pretty secure because it jams on the eye. For this, next one, you have to pass it through, like so. Okay? And you have to do this backwards. Pass it through the eye first. Pull out some line. And you could do your, your tests here. Okay. So that's that's about good. Remember, you need the tag end. And this goes on the reverse, like so. Loose wraps. One, two, three. Here we go. And that's it. Now, we need to tighten this. Pair of pliers. You could use this or you could use the hook. Okay. Tighten it like that. Do the same here. Here we go. Now what I like doing with this is actually do an offset like so. So we're going to do that. Take your eye or your solid ring. If you want to do them equal, that's fine too. But for this, I'm going to do offset like that. Okay, twist, same thing, twist, and then over, like that, get this situated, very important that you have something like this because it gives you consistent lengths each time. Like that. Make sure the X is actually good. And then all you have to do is just tighten. I'm going to go off, off camera for this. Okay. There we go. Now all you have to do is cut this. Burn it off. Let that stand up a bit. There we go. And there you have it. Okay. Now, I showed this in the other video, and uh, again, I know you might, you guys might be uh, 
kind of getting tired of this, but before I actually store them in the box when I'm finished, this is kind of the end of the process. What I do is I tie a bunch of these and I always sharpen them before I put them in the box. These might be sharp, but they could be sharper. And a diamond honestone is actually very, very good for this. Just a few. And that's way sharper than this one is. I can tell you that. And these are already pretty sharp out of the box. But this is just good housekeeping. So I'm doing this now because I might forget and if I'm using this the last thing I want is to be sharpening them while I'm out on the field so check this as far as the length is concerned you can see there right there you can lay that on top actually So then you have this, it's there, they're not touching. So there we go. Yeah, they're the same size, so right there. Okay, so set this aside now we'll do the hard part spade heads are not easy by any means when it comes to this so again that is one a bit longer for this half all right anyway so for this I like them long so that I could actually tighten them with by hand, all right? So I leave a really long tag there because we need it. Trust me, we need it. And for this, we're going to do four. Okay, tag's a bit long. There we go. One, two, three, four. Oops. There we go. I find this a bit harder, of course, to do, but still, it's uh, once you get kind of used to it. It's actually easier than than binding. It certainly is faster. Okay. There we go. Now I like a long tag here. Because what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this around my fingers. Hold that and then Tighten it like so. Still not super tight as you want, but it's a start. And we'll tighten all of this in a bit. Okay. And this one, this is tough because again, we're going to be doing this backwards. And this is again the whole reason why I like. Having a long tag end. Okay. Right there. This goes that way. Loose. 
Okay. That's four. Take this to the side there. And if you notice, I always insert under like so. Okay. There we go. So flip this around. All right, now we need to pull these tag ends. So pair of pliers here. Make sure you have a very big purchase on that end. Also same here. And pull. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then same thing. Just around so and there you have it make sure that these are actually over there now if you can see there this and this they're not going over if they are it means they're not tight enough okay this Let's needs to sit like that. It's the same with this because you don't want the lines to jump off the uh, the spade. So if you find that they are jumping off the spade, take this part right there. Take your pair of pliers. Like so, pull. Then do the same for the other side. And then you can see there, now, they are gripping. And they are just under there. Now, if you pull this, now, what happens is that it singes it down and sits these wraps just over there and they're not slipping. That's it. Now all you have to do is just trim. So the longer pieces actually help a lot. The drawback of this of course is that you'll be using a lot more of the cord but I don't care. This is, uh, this, these cords are cheap. There we go. And then burn them off. And there you have it. Great, if you want to tie this off here, you can. I don't, okay. Two styles, one offset, one not. Okay, and that is it. So guys, uh, I hope you learned something from this video and this is uh, useful for you. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. For those that subscribe, thank you very much for the support. 
give this video a like, share so that everyone can see it. It's very useful. And uh, yeah, let's get it out there. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Class dismissed.